there with the 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 mines really uh, distracting the the Protoss dragoons there very nicely, and this is just great play by the by the Terra player start here. Uh, but more, more Zealots coming in, this is really going to blunt the attack. Uh, Terran player really running out of units here, cr critically running out of vultures. And uh, has start having to pu push all the way back uh, to his base, right across the map. Getting a few uh, hits on the uh, Zealots as they can, but uh, in the meantime, Quarks are flanking him around the side, just overtaking him. Protoss uh, units, of course, moving a lot faster than the Terran tanks. Uh, getting some nice mines off, but still uh, losses for the Terran. Really, I think uh, worse than the uh, the Protoss here. And this was a very risky maneuver. Good defense there by the by the Protoss player, and this this push really was blunted. Uh, some nice defense there with the tanks up on the on the cliff. But now the Terran player is all the way back, back at home, still on two bases. Protoss player has been on three bases for a long time now, still on f only four factories that I can count. And it uh, seems like the Terran player is back to square one, so I'm not really sure whether that push really achieved much. We've got an armory going down, so if only he had plus one weapons at the time of that push. It was too early for him to have really got the plus one, but man, if he had had an advantage like that, I, I really felt like he could have actually pushed the whole way and, and got, a, got a container up or something similar. Alright, so Photon Cannon's down at the back of uh, Quark's base at the top left. Uh, really worried about uh, any kind of vulture. Dropship harass, that would have been cool. In the meantime, also getting prepping to take the top right as he planned with that building block at the uh, at the ten o'clock, sorry, at the, the two o'clock position, my bad. Nice uh, mine going down there, prevent uh, a nexus from going up straight away at the top left. Uh, should we call that the eleven o'clock position? Another factory going down, so he's really, really just trying to expand uh, in terms of unit production without going for the third base. Uh, it can work. But really, long term, it just it, it isn't that viable against a, a Protoss player continuing to expand. And Quarks is now taking the Nexus at the top right. He's got a uh, he's got a Stargate up, plus one weapons going down. So I really feel like uh, time time is ticking away for our Terran friend start here. Looks like the Vultures are seeing an opportunity to micro their way uh, into battle with this Dragoon, losing two Vultures, but uh, at the cost for Quarks are losing uh, one. Dragoon like that really makes it worth it for the Terrans. Still seeing no command center. He stopped SCV production by the looks. Both of those bases are probably quite saturated. And now pushing out again. Does he have enough to push out? Uh, the the Protoss player is going to see that. He's got an observer there just beyond the nat natural. But I feel like Quaxer is going to have enough units to, to really blunt this. We'll see what actually happens. He's moving out with his forces now. He's going to want to have an opportunity to, to flank this force as it pushes out. And I really feel, feel like he's going to have the opportunity to do that because of the map situation. The Terran player just doesn't have quite enough units to really push a big line across the map and hold all of the bridges at once. Here come the Dragoons now. Actually, this is a nice position for, for start, actually, because he's getting behind the, the mine line. And the... the, the Zealots are getting totally shelled here. Mine's just crushing the Zealots. And man, this is actually quite bad for start. Picking off all of the Zealots with with, uh, with Vultures. And that was very bad for Quaxa. He's got a shuttle there. Unfortunately for him, not loaded up with any Zealots as yet. But now there's an opportunity. Uh, and he needs to pick up the Zealots right there with that shuttle. If only he'd done that earlier. Uh, and Terran units, time to push out. Uh, and if he gets a contain off, that could be bad. Although bear in mind that there's a base out, there will be a base outside of the, the contain there. Uh, he really needs either one Goliath or some, some um, turrets up ASAP. But now it's time for the Zealot bombs. All these Zealots getting crushed by the the, the Vultures straight away. Uh, oh, High Templar being dropped. Storms going down on the tanks. Uh, a lot of damage being inflicted by the tanks, but unfortunately not quite enough. Now the SCPs have an opportunity to repair them. Quite crucially. Uh, Priority though is putting down the turrets, definitely. And now come the mines, now comes the contain. Uh, more zealots coming in. Are they going to be enough to actually get rid of these tanks? Uh, they may be able to get one or two, given the fact that the tanks are very, very badly weakened. That's one tank. That's two tanks. What have we got in the way of that uh, that shuttle there? We've got more tanks uh, in reinforcement though. Oh, oh. Another storm going off, but the tanks have arrived. The tanks are really spacing themselves out nicely here. And this is a Terran Contain, so very, very nice play by Start. He's up against four bases, but now he's got a Contain, and this gives him an opportunity to come back and do it. Now, what he wants to do is take two, two bases of his own, and really just out-muscle the Protoss player by putting turrets up in a horizontal line, pretty much through the middle of the map to prevent any recalls. And uh, just really make this a turret and tank fest in the middle, and he'll be able to take this game, uh, and we'll see how he does that. Oh, moving the tanks up to the two o'clock. 
that's going to really crush that expansion and clear the way for harassment going on the top right, which has no cannons so far. Quaxa will want to respond by putting some cannons down after this expansion is destroyed. Using a scan there, and the first Arbiter is out, but that Arbiter is not going to be so great against these turrets. Uh, looks like the Dragoon's getting rid of the... <laughs> they're trying to get rid of the mines, but man, when you're stacked up on the bridge like that, uh, the splash damage of the tanks is really going to punish you badly. Only thing I can say about the situation uh, in favor of the Protoss is that he's out on 2-1 in terms of plus 2 weapons, plus 1 armor. And the Terrans really have not upgraded themselves that well. We've got plus 1 weapons, I believe. Observers being shot out of the sky by, uh, by turrets will not completely. This uh, whole expansion has been evacuated. He may end up losing the starport there. But really, really good play by start. Now just coming in a little bit more closer. This is too close for comfort for the, for the Protoss player. I uh, don't really like the tank placement there, he should have spread out a little bit, that's really quite bad uh, in terms of uh, Arbiter uh, Stasis Field. Another Arbiter being being morphed in there, being morphed in. Wow, uh, very interesting game so far. The tanks have unseized and getting ready to, uh, to siege up, but uh, again, just sieging up too close to each other, kind of bad position. This one tank is going to put in a lot of hurt on those, that, that, that Protoss force here. In the meantime, looks like Aquax is doing what he really needed to have a long time ago, and that is send some forces around the side. Getting rid of these uh, unguarded tanks. Man, Start really needed to have brought in an SCV with a missile turret over there as well. It's a shame that he couldn't have done that. Oh, Stasis right over six vultures, five or six vultures there. Uh, another SCV, another probe coming in, <laughs> getting ready to put down an expansion uh, to replace it, but getting shot to pieces immediately. Finally got some Goliaths out in the field, uh, some mobile anti-air, which was really needed. Finally an expansion from the Terrans here. I'm really surprised he didn't expand a bit earlier than that. Uh, he's probably going to wish that he had. He's going to be, he's going to be a bit short on, uh, on resources now, but this, uh, this contain just does not want to die. Uh, Quax is throwing quite a lot of stuff at it. Zell is being uh, charged straight in there. Tank's still only a plus one. Finally, we've got an Arbiter in there. The Arbiter can't get in quite close enough. We've got a, we've got a uh, Goliath as well to, to urge it away. Stas is finally coming off in time, but man, uh, the Vulture's picking off the probe. Gonna start assaulting that Nexus now. He really needs a tank and a couple of, of turrets into that position, though. He really, really does. Because there are two points that the uh, the Protoss player can break out of this expansion due to the the, uh, the map. And when I said the word expansion there, I clearly meant uh, blockade or containment. But uh, the top top right is, is swinging along. I think the Protoss has mined out his main, so is the Terran. Uh, Vultures really want to kill this observatory so they can break through the wall and then get through to the top right. If they manage to do that, they'll really clobber those probes there. Uh, a lot more tanks being sent down, a lot more mines uh, and uh, turrets going up. Fortunately, that's exactly what the Terran player needs. He needs more. He needs more turrets over here. Why isn't he getting turrets over there? It's very important. Uh, vultures are going to try their luck against the cannons. Plenty of vultures there, though. They should be able to take take care of that cannon. Uh, and probes being pulled off the line. Uh, looks like they're going to be transferred to, over to the other base, but uh, absolutely getting clobbered by the vultures. And in in their defence. Just glitching themselves around the the vultures and attacking them. <laughs> this is amazing stuff here. Actually wiping out the vultures. Amazing stuff by the probes. Uh, very brave of them. Uh, finally seeing some some micro going on here from the start. Actually uh, trying to micro his way around and kill the probes, but obviously too much multitasking to do there because uh, he uh, he failed it and lost that last vulture. He's going to need to bring in some more. Let's see what actually happens. It looks like we've got some more vultures heading over, but but Quaxa may take the opportunity if he sees vultures heading over to the two o'clock to to charge in with his with his zealots. I wouldn't be surprised if he did that actually. Uh, and more <laughs> explosions going off. And uh, here we go again. Uh, probes getting clobbered by the uh, by the vultures. All of them are going to die here. Uh, just getting splattered by the tanks. And uh, Quaxa's decided not to attack. Uh, those vultures really need to move up the top right, but ooh, uh, this is this is going to be nasty for them because there are the arbiters there. Uh, we've got a very vulnerable Terran expansion at the uh, the five o'clock. Finally, we've got a, a science vessel being produced as well. But man, these vultures are about to get it in the face uh, because this Protoss force is just going to scream down the, the right hand side of the map. Uh, are we going to see any response from the Terran forces over here? Maybe they'll just push in and take out the natural, but uh, he's really going to be careful because these Protoss forces, if they take out that, that main Terran expansion at the, the 5 o'clock, 
That's really going to be bad for start, so uh, what start is doing here is relocating the bulk of his army to try and respond to that threat. In the meantime, Zealous being sent into this weak...